Hey everyone, welcome to another NLP video. Today we're looking at the paper Curious Question Generation Pre-Training for Text Generation by a bunch of authors from Google Research. This paper is about pre-training objectives for text generation and in last months there have been a number of approaches proposed to, to, to use large amounts of raw data to pre-train models for text generation tasks. And uh, in particular, approaches based on noising have been very popular. So for example, let's say you have some raw data from the internet, like mid-March is still cold here in Europe. Some areas has also snow. And um, you can apply some noise to this text, like deleting tokens like March and cold or masking tokens, replacing March with a ma special mask term, or even shuffling the words, let's say on a sentence level. And you can take these different types of noises applied to noised versions of the text, and you can train text generation models to predict the original text condition on the, on the noise variant. And this is very nice and easy, and you can, people have shown that if you train large scale models on this type of noise, noisy to clean texts, you can get very good pre-trained checkpoints that then are very useful for various downstream tasks like automatic summarization, paraphrasing, question answering, or even for, for learning good embeddings of the text. And this paper is proposing a new type of pre-training objective for text generation that is a little bit different um, and actually uses existing question answering datasets instead of these masked um, objectives. So you can mine forums on the internet which may have questions like what will be the temperature in Europe during March middle and you're going to have some answers written by some users and you're going to train the model to, given that you have the answer passage, to generate the question. And this seems to be a little bit beneficial in some cases because um, naturally trying to predict the question will impose, will, will make the model generate some abstractive version of, of the input text and it will make also potentially the model think more about, hardly about what is the most important pieces of the answer that are relevant for the question, to generate the question. And this is the basic idea of the authors of this paper. They compose a data set of about 2 million answers and questions. Let me go to the, this data set to see. About 50% of the 2 million pairs are from the Stack Exchange data set containing 175 subdomains, well, another 50% or 45% or so are from Yahoo Answers, and we have some from Baidu here. So these forums are widely used for a community type of question answering, and they're growing every day, obviously, with very popular websites. So you can use those, leverage those for pre-training those text generation models. That's the basic idea. So the authors take, take this data set and then they data sets and then they pre-train some different models and so pre-train and then they fine-tune the pre-trained models on two tasks. The first task is extreme summarization where the goal is given that you have some article you here here are the results. Even if you have some article, you try to generate one sentence that summarizes the article very well. And you have um, a bunch of different variants of this curious, they call it the curious system, like the approach. Some of those are pre-trained using a Roberta checkpoint. Roberta is a variant of, or like a newer version of BERT. Um, so they take this Roberta with different number of layers, 24 or 12, and they fine tune it on this extreme summarization benchmark. And it seems that if you do this, you're getting an improvement over the baseline Roberta 
which you which is already it's already pre-trained but with, with a different noise objective and then to you take this roberta and you fine-tune it on this question generation data set you're getting some improvement for the improvement of about one rouge one point where higher is better rouge is a standard benchmark for summarization so the best configuration is to put train on both question generation and the other noise objectives. And also Roberta actually seems to have a huge impact, which was, I was very surprised here. So if you just take, I think this, this approach is only a standard transformer model. And then it's, uh, it's, um, it's a uh, train on this question generation task and then fine tuned on the uh, extreme summarization task. And actually there's a huge difference. It seems. And here also they have some results of zero shot summarization where they basically don't fine tune but just take the question generation model and well they it performs low but it just to, to see what happens basically and yeah you can get some question that is related to the input article. It seems that is interesting. When it comes to the second task of question generation they are just testing on the squad data set and NQ natural questions data set. And um, it seems that the curious approach is performing the best compared, compared to various baselines such as Roberta fine tune on this squad data set or some previous approaches and also on the um, NQ data set as well. So it seems really that pre-training on this Question, answer, question generation objective is pretty good, uh, pretty nice uh, approach to get, get, get an improved performance of tech generation tasks. And finally, the authors do a human evaluation. For summarization, the human evaluation is assessing the quality of the summary. Um, whereas for question generation, we are measuring the naturalness and correctness. And it seemed that, um, I don't remember what was the precise scoring here, probably from, from minus one to one, okay, um, perhaps. But it seems that um, the curious system outperforms even the gold standard summaries or the generated questions in some cases, which is interesting actually, because I think for squad in particular, the, some of the questions are quite, um, quite overlapping with the article and they're not, they're not as fluent as perhaps as natural questions occurring in raw data sets like the um, existing on the online forums. So it's interesting to see that you are able to get quite nice quality here of the, with the curious approach on both tasks. And finally, they have an interesting analysis of the effect of these when uh, the amount of training data used for pre-training this um, curious approach. So this is a quick percentage of the two million pairs used to pre-train curious, and um, on the y-axis, we have the Rouge LF1 scores. And we're comparing here some transformer baseline, um, which is not using a pre-training objective. Then you have the Roberta, and then you have Curious. I think that one is fine-tuned on the, actually, I'm not sure what's the difference between this one and that one. Curious minus Roberta, or no, this is probably like a, Oh no, they, okay, now I understand. So this approach is just a transformer trained on the summarization, extreme summarization data set. This one is a Roberta model that is fine-tuned on the summarization data set. And this is a curious model, um, transformer model probably, fine-tuned on the question answering, question, gener question generation data set, but is not using the Roberta objective first. And then we have the curious, which is the Roberta also fine tuned on this question generation data set. And then interestingly, it seems that um, 
up to using 50% of the training data, the um, curious approach actually performs all the other ones quite significantly. Here you can see pretty big gap in terms of Rouge L score. And um, after using more than 50% of the training data for the summarization, the Roberta somehow uh, manages to reach, but not outperform the curious approach. And the uh, transformer and the uh, curious minus Roberta seems to be disadvantaged here. So it's interesting to see uh, what what training data sizes are really needed to get good performance on this summarization tasks. So this is all that I wanted to cover for this paper. And overall, it's an interesting approach for pre-training test generation tasks. I wonder how this would work for other tasks that could be related, like summarization of longer documents, let's say not just extreme summarization. Um, so summaries that have more than one sentence. And um, I hope that also the authors make the dataset public. That would be very, very interesting. I would be curious to play around with this question generation dataset. So thanks for listening and talk to you at the next video.